do not make the mistake of buying an iPhone 7 over an iPhone 7 Plus if you want to utilize a special photography mode only found on the 7 Plus. The iPhone 7 Plus has a portrait mode, which allows you to create amazing portrait photos by utilizing the bokeh effect. But the iPhone 7 does not have that mode, the portrait mode. So what is bokeh? It's a photography effect. Take a look at this picture. As you can see, the primary subject, which in this case is the coffee mug, is in sharp and clear focus, and you can see the mug clearly. But when you look at the background, it seems to have been blurred out, and it's rather creamy. This creamy and blurry background is known as the bokeh effect. So like I said, the iPhone 7 Plus has the portrait mode that gives you this fantastic bokeh effect, so you can create more artistic shots. The name of this mode is portrait but you're not limited to use this mode for people. Although that would create some really amazing portrait shots of yourself, your family, or your friends. You can use it on any subject which you want to be in sharp focus while the background is blurred out. It could be your dog, a car, or a decorative item. Now this mode on the iPhone is a feat of software engineering. And a few other things I'm gonna talk about in a second. Normally you would need a DSLR camera with a large sensor and a great lens with a large aperture to produce a real creamy bokeh effect. And in that case, no software manipulation is required. It's all natural bokeh. But because the iPhone camera sensor and lens is simply not large enough compared to a DSLR sensor and lens, Apple has tapped into software processing to artificially produce the bokeh effect so that you can take some fantastic pictures. Now remember the iPhone 7 Plus has two cameras. One of them is a regular wide angle 12 megapixel camera and the other one is a 12 megapixel telephoto camera. The iPhone 7 only has the regular wide angle 12 megapixel camera, which is also partially the reason you cannot get the portrait mode. And I'll tell you why right now. On the 7 Plus, when you swipe to the portrait mode, it actually utilizes the secondary 12 megapixel telephoto lens, which the 7 doesn't have. Now, I cannot sit here and give you a lecture on photography because that would take a lot of time. But let me just say that a telephoto lens, also known as a zoom lens, enhances the bokeh effect. So what's really happening is Apple is using a combination of software engineering, the regular 12 megapixel wide angle lens and the telephoto lens on the iPhone 7 Plus to produce this beautiful photography effect, the bokeh. And as you can tell by the pictures that were taken on the iPhone 7 Plus that have the bokeh effect versus the pictures taken on the iPhone 7 that don't have the bokeh effect, it makes a major difference. Now, beyond the fact that the iPhone 7 Plus has a secondary telephoto camera and the portrait mode, there isn't much of a difference between the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 7 camera. They both have the regular 12 megapixel wide angle lens with an aperture of f1.8 that takes the same exact photos. They both have optical image stabilization. They both have cinematic video stabilization, which stabilizes your video very well. Just remember, with the iPhone 7 Plus, you do get two extra features. The portrait mode, which we talked about, and 2x optical zoom thanks to the secondary telephoto camera. As for digital zoom, iPhone 7 Plus offers 10x total zoom, which is a combination of optical and digital, while the iPhone 7 gives you a five times digital zoom. So obviously with the iPhone 7 Plus, you can zoom in twice as much. It is essential to understand that the main camera on the iPhone 7 Plus is the exact same main camera on the iPhone 7, so it's not any better than the iPhone 7 in that sense. The iPhone 7 Plus simply has a secondary camera that makes the portrait mode and optical zoom possible. I just want to make that clear for potential buyers. If you don't care about two times optical zoom or the portrait mode, you don't have to worry about which phone to buy based on the camera. But if you have a little photographer hiding inside you, you may like the iPhone 7 Plus's camera better. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Saki Tech. I'll see you the next time. Have a fantastic day.